swamp swallow pond, sunrise woods, and happy times, they came out of their tunnel dark homes and celebrated the sun, the light of the day, with their fiddler song. But the littlest cricket was sad and wanted to stay in his tunnel dark home with his mother. His wise mother finally encouraged the littlest cricket to join his friends and make music in the bright sunlight. So out into the sunlight he went, but did not make any noise. Music. So, what, so what do you know, little cricket? I know that I am ugly. Oh, crickets are ugly. Who told you such a thing? The frog who lives at the edge of the pond. He told me I'm the ugliest creature he ever saw. Ribbit, ribbit. You may not like the most handsome thing in the world, but you are far from the ugliest. Look at me, I am no beauty myself. But you will turn into a lightning bug, and I will always be a cricket. I wish I were a butterfly. Why do you care what the frog who lives at the edge of the pond says? You must learn to be content with what you are, and not mind what a silly frog tells you. That's easy for you to say. Oh, I wish I were a butterfly. The littlest cricket jumped on to a lily pad and drifted across the pond. I will talk to the old one, he thought. She will help me. Why am I so ugly? Why can't I be? A dragonfly. It is not right to be envious of others. You know it's true. I am a magnificent creature, but so are you in your own way, I am sure. You fly around with your whispery wings and body covered with jewels and tell me that I am magnificent. Oh, I still wish I were a butterfly. Well, you are not a butterfly and never shall be. The cricket thought to himself, it's easy to be happy when you are a glistening but dragonfly, but not when you are an ugly cricket. In the middle of her web, in the middle of her web, on the other side of the swamp swallow pond, the old one was waiting. I am good and waiting. That is the spider's life. Spinning and waiting, waiting and spinning. It is a lovely day. Lovely days are too short to wear a lot of faces. So what is wrong, my friend? I am ugly. Who told you that? The frog who lives at the edge of the pond. Ribbit, ribbit. I'm, I'm the ugliest creature he ever saw. Oh, how I wish I were a butterfly. Butterflies are pretty enough to look at, but they are no more special than you. They are the most beautiful creatures in swamp swallow pond. I wish I were special than that. The old one said no, the old one said nothing, but continued to laugh. I thought you would understand. You don't envy the butterfly because you are so beautiful yourself. You think I am beautiful? I have been told that I am the ugliest creature in the swamp swallow pond. Did the frog at the end of the pond tell you that? Ribbit, ribbit. Not only the frog, why if I were to believe everyone who says that about me, I would think myself quite, quite ugly. But I don't, you see. And I certainly don't believe the grumpy old frog at the edge of the pond. Ribbit, ribbit. I believe you are my friend, and you think I am beautiful, and so I am. You are beautiful, but I am ugly as can be. I still wish I were a butterfly. The old one asked the littlest cricket to follow her to the water's edge. What do you see? Two beautiful friends. Am I really beautiful? <laughs> to me you are. More beautiful than any butterfly I have ever seen. The littlest cricket looked back on his reflection, and to his surprise, the ugliness began to fade. And he, and he, and the that? cricket, began to make his music. Suddenly a gust of wind rippled the water, and a butterfly flying past her the music. What beautiful music that creature makes. I wish I were a cricket. We're all beautiful and have special talents. Each and every one of us are made by God and are just the way he wanted us to be. Thank you.